Greetings and welcome to the bench on a brand new month of June. And it's time for the monthly rambling and tell you guys what I have not really been doing this month, this past month or so. So as usual, uh, I've been working on some models, but not too much, actually quite a little since I've just, <laughs> seems my mojo has been gone for most of 2017. But I've been working on the Impreza that I showed in the last update video, and I'm actually making a video of this as we go along, and you can see I'm having some troubles with my white base coat on that, and I'll talk more about that in my video. Otherwise, I haven't really done anything to it, except I painted the interior blue since the last update video. Interior blue and the exterior is in the, still in the base white color. And uh, yeah, I was having some troubles with my airbrush, spluttering the white paint and getting clogged up almost like constantly, so I've been cleaning it and cleaning it and cleaning it and actually picked a whole a whole lot of gunk out of here of old paint and stuff so my airbrush learning curve is <laughs> not as good as I was hoping, I guess there's something I'm doing wrong cleaning wise, I guess but um, all that cleaning with thinner and stuff has resulted in the bushings in this, bushings, not the bushings, the uh, the rubber o-ring that's in here or something has, has started to leak so I'm getting, I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to leak here on the on the join there from time to time so this guy is pretty much starting to splutter the paint and uh, giving like rough surfaces and it just sprays really bad overall but of course it's just a cheap like $50 airbrush cheap by Icelandic standards I mean it's the cheapest one you can get in my area so instead of just trying to look for a new o-ring set for this I went ahead and I bought another one exactly the same uh, basically just this is not going to be my main airbrush and I'm gonna try and figure this one out and this is gonna be my backup I will also use this one when I'm shooting like uh, what's it called the pledge cause yeah why not if I can have two the more the merrier I guess but uh, feeling a bit I don't know broken down, heartbroken, some magical English word for it. I was feeling kind of pissed off having all these troubles, so I started building this uh, Revel 172nd scale F4J, F4U4 Corsair, uh, and it's this guy right here that I bought not too long ago. And I thought I'd just throw this one together and uh, have fun doing it, trying to rebuild my mojo, but then I kind of lost mojo on this even as well, because this is going to need quite some putty work and and sanding and stuff like that. Of course, it's a rail kit, so... But anyways, it is what it is, and that's all I've been working on, really. I've only got like a couple of good nights in at the bench. Other than that, I've just been playing a lot of video games. But I'm hoping to get back in the, the swing of things with the new airbrush. And also, to soothe myself, I went ahead and got some kits. Not too many this month, just a couple. Or ordered this from Japan. The beautiful Ken Mary Skyline. I think it's the third generation. I'm not really too sure on it, but I don't know. And uh, it's a pretty nice kit, Fujimi 124 scale. It comes with, to my surprise, it has the full engine details going on there. However, the hood is molded into the body, 
and it's actually quite thick plastic and it has no details on the inside so I don't know how well it will turn out if I try to like uh, cut out the hood and do the full engine which I think I also kind of need to do so it'll look good from the bottom as well I guess but the neat thing about this kit is that you get the uh, steel wheels that you see on the box cover right there and those are the ones that I'm gonna put on it but you also get these nice old-school Japanese wheels that are in there so these can go on some other project maybe in the future but these are just some cool old-school uh, wheels and you also have the stock suspension and you get this lower suspension to make it a lowered car and I'm definitely gonna use that and that's nice for a stupid idiot like me who doesn't know how to lower model cars yet yet I hope so yeah this is an exciting project I think coming up and uh, went to the hobby store yesterday of course it was payday so naturally I went ahead and got this kit the 148 P51C Mustang Mark 3 by Rival it's actually a reboxed ICM kit and uh, I went ahead and bought this kit because I've been watching a guy with a YouTube channel that I forgot the name of and I'm checking right now as we speak uh, yep the scale modeling channel on the YouTubes and uh, I've talked about him before I think he's a guy that builds mostly car car models and he posts like a video every weekend so he's slowly going through these uh, through this build he's up to part 3 I think and he just finished painting the fuselage and actually a really cool paint job he's doing his own fantasy one with the blue stripe on the cowling and blue on the uh, control surfaces uh, not the control surfaces on the wing tips and stuff doing like a custom paint job for it and it's really cool because it's using like a metal flake blue paint for it and then a bare metal silver silver but anyways if you guys really like like model car builds you really ought to check his channel out because he does some amazing work on uh, on cars and he has some great tips with like how to use like different stuff to make different effects on cars and uh, yeah he's worth checking out I think but anyways I think this is it for this month's ramble update video um, I've already placed or placed an order for two kits for that you will see next month update I guess and that's gonna be something for you armor guys to look forward to some World War II heavy tanks but anyways uh, this is it for today I guess and uh, just wanna say keep on modeling and keep having fun and thank you guys for joining me on my ramble scarce video channel bye